name is Tracy. I'm an occupational therapist at John McGivney Children's Center. And today we're going to make a Play-Doh nest. Um, so what you will need is some Play-Doh. And if you have them, some scissors for cutting. I'm gonna put the recipe for making Play-Doh up. And there's a website um, listed at the very top that um, explains this recipe in a little bit more detail. Okay, so what we wanna do is get uh, about a handful of Play-Doh. You wanna make it into a nice snowball. And what this does is help strengthen your hand muscles a little bit. And then we're gonna get our thumb. Once we have a nice snowball, we're gonna get our thumb and we're gonna Wish a hole almost right down to the bottom of your play-doh and then we're gonna now we want to strengthen our pincher fingers so we're gonna pinch and you can alternate fingers as you're pinching and turning your nest and we want to make a nice deep bowl that's gonna be our nest so as I'm going along here, if I'm going, I've done this a lot of times, so I can do it pretty fast. If you want to spend a little more time in any section, just press pause on the video and finish up your nest and then press play when you're ready to move on to the next part. So I've got my nest done and now I'm ready to move on to the next part. So I'm going to get another bit of Play-Doh and I'm going to roll it into a nice long snake. So what this is, this is gonna be making our shoulder and arm muscles nice and strong. And then once we have a nice long skinny snake like this, I'm gonna make dents about every two centimeters along the long snake with the edge of my scissors. Once I've got dents all the way along my snake, I'm gonna get my scissors. I'm gonna put my thumb in the small hole and some extra fingers in the big hole. And we're gonna have our thumbs up for cutting. So we're gonna hold the edge of the snake and everywhere we see a dent, we're gonna snip our Play-Doh. This fun part of the activity is going to help improve our strength when we're for cutting as well. So once we cut all the way along, I'm going to go nice and fast here. So again, press pause if you want to spend a little extra time on this. Once we have all of our snake cut into little bits and pieces, what we're going to do is take one little bit and we're going to roll it into an egg. And so what rolling into an egg, it helps us strengthen the muscles in our hands. So we're gonna roll all of our little bits into eggs and fill our nest. So when we're all done with all of our bits, our nest will be overflowing with eggs like this. And that's it. Have fun.